this move is absurd. I mean, it, it's a recipe for just financial bankruptcy. The system must prevent both political parties or parties in power not to take steps that will lead inevitably to a financial disaster. छत्तीसगढ़ में लागू राजस्थान में लागू हम झारखंड में हमारी साझा सरकार है वहां लागू हिमाचल में यदि आपसे कांग्रेस ने कहा है कि 10 दिन में ओपीएस लागू होगा मतलब लागू होगा देखिए ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम पहली कैबिनेट में लागू होगी उस बारे में हमने आज भी बैठक बुलाई है मैं अभी क्वारंटाइन 7 दिन के बाद तो मैं अब जा रहा हूं हम अपने कर्मचारियों को अधिकारियों को जिसने हिमाचल प्रदेश में विकास की गाथा लिखी है ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम देने जा रहे हैं अभी महीने दो महीने पहले गांधीनगर के अंदर एक गजब का नजारा देखा गया जब हजारों हजारों गुजरात सरकार के कर्मचारी सड़कों के ऊपर उतर आए और उन्होंने पूरा सचिवालय घेर लिया ऐसा नजारा गुजरात के अंदर कभी नहीं देखा गया था और उनकी एक ही डिमांड थी ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम लागू की जाए मैं आज गुजरात के सारे कर्मचारियों को बोल कहना चाहता हूं कि हमारी सरकार बनेगी 31 जनवरी तक ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम लागू करने का नोटिफिकेशन जारी कर दिया जाएगा ये मैं हवा में बात नहीं कर रहा पंजाब के अंदर ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम जारी करने का नोटिफिकेशन जारी हो गया है ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम दोबारा लागू कर दी गई है पंजाब के अंदर हमारी सरकार बनती और ये नोटिफिकेशन जारी हो गया पंजाब के अंदर It is an injudicious step to give up uh, the new pension scheme and to go back in adopting the old pension scheme. This was debated uh, very carefully during the earlier government. Dr. Manmohan Singh was one of the uh, votaries. My uh, colleague Dr. Montek Singh Alewalia has commented extensively on the subject that it would be a fiscal disaster for states to go back on the new pension scheme and adopt the old pension scheme. Well, I certainly share the view that this move is absurd. I mean, it, it's a recipe for just financial bankruptcy. Uh, the big advantage of those who push the move is that that bankruptcy will come 10 years later. So I think there's no, as an economist, I have nothing to say. The, the system must prevent both political parties or parties in power not to take steps that will lead inevitably to a financial disaster. How do you do that? Well, you know, to my mind, uh, this is where the narrative comes in. I think we need some effort so that people will explain uh, to the public at large or whatever it is, what are the costs of this? I mean, after all, if you translate it into a simple thing that here's the government willing to give me a better pension scheme than I have, okay? 
then if that's the only people who are consulted, I mean, they're going to say, well, look, I like this pension scheme. Uh, but clearly, somebody's paying for it. And so we need the narrative to focus on that. Now, somewhere in the political system, those who will bear the cost, I mean, their view has to be heard. And if the political system isn't able to do that, well, I have no solution. But I'm just saying that, you know, the same thing happens in other countries also. So, you know, we are going through a period where quite a lot of countries are doing politically irresponsible things. But then there is a correction. Uh, and the problem here is this is not being done in the central government. Uh, I suspect that, you know, there would be much greater national focus if such a move were made on the central government uh, by anyone. Uh, it's being done in state government.